So how do you break past that typing barrier when you're at 80 to 90 maybe, but you kind of struggle with punctuation? And it's, it's comfortable because you're on Colmac or something maybe, but it's not impressive yet. That's what I wanted to do, because for the longest time I've put all this stuff into typing. You know, I type a lot, I'm a programmer. I use like a special keyboard. I don't have it, oh, here it is. Uh, it's kind of attached, so I'm gonna unplug half of it, but here's what half of it looks like, Ferris Sweep, you know? So I've spent a long time learning how to type but I still wasn't fast, right? Still wasn't, wasn't like crazy. Like I see some people on QWERTY going faster than me and that's just not really acceptable if you've put all this time in. For one, because typing fast is really fun and for two, it's just like normies will look at you and be like, okay, what is this guy even doing if it's all just for comfort? It's important to keep that comfort you get from Colmac, but how do you actually improve? All right, so I'm gonna just do like a couple typing tests just to prove that I'm actually fast. I've gotten more quick recently, uh, but yeah, I'm, I may be under pressure and I may mess up, so don't don't take this as like me actually. I can type probably 10 to 20 words faster than I'm typing live. Um, ah, 30 words per minute. Okay, that's a solid example. And the thing is, I'm also typing over punctuation. I don't know if you've noticed, but not crazy punctuation, not programmer punctuation, but there are commas, there are quotes in there. And I discovered just a few settings on the website Monkey Type that helped me get there. There's another website I think called keybr.com. Uh, and the reason I didn't do keybr is I think they might be more scientific and accurate but I kind of like to be typing real words. I guess this is having me type real words, but I don't, okay, I don't know. I'm, I'm dissing them for no reason. I just used monkey type because I liked the UI better, but KBR works for you to improve, then do that. I found a couple pieces of information that helped me get from just spamming monkey type tests all day and not improving at all to like significantly within like three days going up 25 words per minute. And here they are, there's a couple settings. So first of all, you'll notice my text right here is huge. I had it for a while. Um, how do you control preferences? I think you hit escape and then it's like text, uh, maybe font size. Yeah, and I have it, I guess four is big. So if I put it 12, it, oh no, I guess, I guess four is four times zoom. So I do font size and then I had it maybe, yeah, one or two times zoom. So I put it to four. And the reason for this is just like, it helps you, oh shit, I cannot, do this and, and talk at the same time. Okay, font size four. The reason is it's just your full screen. It's much more your focus going directly to the words. I don't know, it's a small change, but it helped me out. And then the other big thing that helped me out is putting on a pace carrot. So I don't know if you saw that, I'll type a little bit more. Um, I don't see the pace carrot actually. Uh, let me reload. Um, there we go. Do you see that little carrot and it's gonna pass me? You set that to um, a typing speed that you're trying to get. For me, it's 100 right now. I'm probably gonna push it soon to the next maybe 105, 110. And the reason for that is it gives you a, a much, much better sense of where you are in your current typing abilities. Whereas if you're kind of randomly spamming typing tests, just doing what feels good and then you finish and you're like, oh, 100, nice. It's much, much better to have that constant 100, like putting fire under you, because this is all about deliberate practice and just pushing your typing boundaries, pushing yourself to the next level of typing ability by making it difficult. Like you want to be typing really fast. I was emphasizing accuracy for a long time, and it's important to get accuracy, but I think more important is to force speed on yourself and then correct accuracy problems later. You want to just be pushing the boundaries constantly. So those few things really helped. Now. I'm doing punctuation with words, and there's a couple different language settings you can do in monkey type. Not a lot of people know this, but if you go to, I think it's language, yes. Yeah, so you see there's English 1K, 5K, 10K, 25K. If I do 5K, the words I'm gonna get are a lot like aftermath was not valid orientation. So this is better for like more obscure words. I think 1K is like the most common words. It's like, yeah, the top, uh, not British English. How do I, language. Um, yeah, and if I do 450K, we're gonna get, yeah. 
a deniform, parged, salvationists. Yeah, like words you'd never use. So for now, um, I'm sticking to English like 1K just because it's like common words, but I'll probably get a 5K soon enough. And punctuation just puts in quotes and stuff. And you can also put in numbers. Personally, I'm, I'm not on that yet because I just find like the default keyboard. I'm typing on my laptop keyboard now. Um, kind of too difficult to hit numbers correctly. And I, I'll probably set up some kind of software to like bring them down or have some kind of layer thing going on so it's not like that in the future. So I'm like, why practice all that much? You can also do things for programming like better. I think punctuation somewhere in settings has, I don't know, there's, there's, there's some language maybe like programmer or no, maybe it's in, um, there's settings called Funbox. Funbox programmer? No. Someone would someone would have to pull it up in comments because I don't know off the top of my head, but there's a setting that gives you basically all like, maybe it's custom. Uh, I guess it I guess it could be. But you can put in like all the programming symbols, you know, the brackets and whatnot. If you want to get really good at those. I haven't yet and I will do that at some point for sure once I'm more comfortable with this. But yeah, that's how I progressed past uh, my like 80, 90 to about 120. And I really think everyone should. It just makes typing way more fun, way more enjoyable, way more impressive. And it's really not that hard. I spent so long just pouring effort into this and it's not about effort. It's about deliberately pushing your boundaries by just like a, a few simple tricks. That score, uh, that, that pace cursor, zooming in a little bit, choosing quote mode, it just absolutely helped so much. Uh, oh yeah, and that's another thing. There's punctuation and then there's quote mode. And quote, I would say, is cool because it pulls from random sources, but it doesn't have as consistently like parentheses and stuff as uh, the other mode does. But yeah, I'd want to hear all your guys' settings for monkey type, how you're improving past a certain level, and hopefully this helped someone out. I got this from a very similar video, I think like speedytyper.dev or something. Basically these few tricks, especially the pace cursor, just push you past your limits. And you can set the pace cursor just like five words per minute, then your best, faster than your best. You want it to be just, just behind you. So you're like really forcing yourself to type quickly. So I guess just to show it's not a fluke, let's close out. Let's do another punctuation just to keep myself challenged. Okay, straight division. Oh, this is not the word set I'm used to. So it might be slower. Ah. Oh. Okay, great example of, so I'm, I'm like a normal guy. This isn't, I'm not like totally crazy yet. This 1K threw me off a little bit, I think, because um, I wasn't used to that word set, but that's totally fine. I can stay at 100 with that cursor and just try to catch up to that on this next English set. So I'm still pushing my boundaries. There's some words I still can't fully type well, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not like a perfectly 100% better typer than anyone else. You know, I still struggle to type certain words and I'm still practicing it, but the practice is the most important part. Don't look at someone's like final abilities or anything. Hopefully that helped you um, see that I'm not like an infallible typist. And yeah, that's about it for this one. Hopefully I can help someone out with that. This video is inadvertently sponsored by my mom. And what that means is she doesn't pay me any money. I'm just giving her free publicity because I can and I have the platform. Feel free to skip. Um, so she's just a cartoonist, illustrator, painter. She's been doing art for a long time. Here are some pieces of art for my game, Stormy Seas. You can see she has like a very Mediterranean Greek style, very vibrant colors, great illustrations. Um, yeah, just beautiful art for the game. Um, so I'm really lucky to have that ability skill set um, that I can tap into. But yeah, I mean, if you would like to support her work in any way or you have a game similar, or you have the budget to pay for some illustrations, because I mean, it doesn't work for free. Someone's, everyone's got to make a living and especially it's difficult for art people. But yeah, she can do any kind of illustration, any kind of logo. You remember those old game studio logos that weren't just like a minimal like triangle or something? Like imagine having like a logo like this Archer for your game studio or whatever. Like. It could be worth dropping the bands a couple hundred bucks or something just to get a really nice custom loading screen illustration. Here's her website. She's published a lot of comics. She's a cartoonist primarily. And this is, this is actually the book that a lot of my board game is based off of. Um, so yeah, if you're, into, if you're into Mediterranean history, this is a graphic novel adaptation of a very, very famous 
an influential book called 1177, uh, which tells a lot about civilization's collapse. And yeah, she just has some absolutely phenomenal art coloring, and she's done a lot of the paintings for my room um, and paintings over the years. I'm not exactly sure what kind of art she'd be open to, because she does have like, she's probably working on another comic right now, graphic novel. Um, but yeah, if you need some art for any kind of your projects and you have a little bit of extra money and you want something really cool and custom, here's an artist who's kind of underground, especially in the tech space. Uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe that'll generate one or 0 0.5 sales or even an inquiry, but that's fine with me.